Shocking insight from C.S. Lewis. The hidden dangers of prayer. Risks of prayer. A deeper look at the spiritual dangers. Prayer is often seen as a sanctuary, a safe harbor for the soul seeking communion with the divine. Yet, as C.S. Lewis insightfully points out, this spiritual practice is not without its perils. While prayer opens the door to profound spiritual experiences, it also exposes one to potential spiritual dangers that are not always immediately apparent. The primary risk of deep, earnest prayer lies in its very nature. It heightens our sensitivity to the spiritual realm. This increased awareness can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it can lead to more profound spiritual insights and connections. On the other, it makes one susceptible to spiritual deception. The realm of spirit is vast and not solely the domain of divine forces. Malevolent entities, too, can operate here, disguising themselves as forces of light to mislead and manipulate the unwary. Lewis illustrates this danger vividly in the Screwtape Letters, where he depicts demons scheming to ensnare human souls. This fictional portrayal underscores a chilling reality. The spiritual world is a battlefield, and those who engage in prayer are active participants, whether they realize it or not. Without the proper grounding in Scripture, Believers can find themselves misled by false revelations that seem spiritually profound but lead away from true divine guidance. The Bible itself offers warnings about such risks. Apostle Paul's epistles speak of seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1, highlighting the ease with which even the devout can be led astray. It's not the act of prayer itself that is dangerous but rather the lack of discernment and scriptural foundation that can turn a seeker's good intentions into a spiritual vulnerability. While prayer is a vital component of spiritual life, it must be approached with caution and safeguarded by the truths of Scripture. By anchoring ourselves in the Word, we can navigate the spiritual complexities of prayer with wisdom and discernment, ensuring that our spiritual engagements enhance rather than undanger our faith. Deception through sensitivity, the spiritual risks of enhanced awareness. The heightened spiritual sensitivity that comes from deep, committed prayer can be both a blessing and a curse. This increased awareness opens believers to a broader spectrum of spiritual experiences, but it also makes them more vulnerable to deceptions disguised as divine messages. C.S. Lewis, in his astute observations on spiritual matters, particularly noted the dangers lurking in this expanded spiritual perception. As we open ourselves more to the spiritual realm, our ability to perceive beyond the physical senses is enhanced, potentially allowing us to encounter and interact with spiritual entities. However, this does not guarantee that all such encounters will be benevolent. The spiritual realm is populated not just by angels, but also by deceivers' entities that can mimic the divine so convincingly that they lead even the devout astray. In the Screwtape Letters, Lewis provides a narrative that illustrates how these demonic forces can subtly influence and mislead believers, emphasizing that not all spiritual voices guide us towards truth. The risk of deception is particularly potent because these malevolent forces often exploit our best intentions. They present themselves during moments of prayerful openness, offering guidance and revelations that, while seemingly profound, may subtly deviate from biblical truth. This is where the danger lies not in obvious evil, but in the subtle distortions that can alter our spiritual path over time. The Apostle Paul warned of this when he spoke of Satan himself masquerading as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14. This metaphor starkly reminds us that spiritual deception often comes cloaked in the guise of holiness, making it difficult to discern without a deep, grounded knowledge of Scripture. Thus, while prayer deepens our spiritual lives, it also requires us to be vigilant 
and discerning. We must continually test our spiritual experiences against the Word of God, ensuring that our encounters and insights align with biblical doctrine. By doing so, we protect ourselves from the pitfalls of deception and ensure that our spiritual journey leads us closer to truth and salvation. Warnings from Scripture Guarding Against Spiritual Deception Scripture serves as a foundational guide for recognizing and avoiding spiritual deceptions, especially for those engaged in deep prayer. The Bible provides clear warnings that emphasize the importance of vigilance and discernment in spiritual practices. One of the most direct admonitions comes from the Apostle Paul in his first letter to Timothy, where he states, The Spirit clearly says that in later times some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. 1 Timothy 4, verse 1. This passage cautions believers about the allure of deceptive spiritual forces that can lead even the devout away from the truth. It underscores the necessity of a solid grounding in scriptural truths as a defense against such influences. Similarly, Paul warns of the dangers posed by Satan who can disguise himself as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14. This metaphor is particularly poignant, illustrating how deceit can appear holy and benevolent, making it challenging to discern without a deep understanding of God's word. This deception is not just a threat to the naive, but to all who engage deeply in spiritual matters without the armor of scriptural knowledge. Moreover, the story of Jesus' temptation in the wilderness, Matthew 4 verses 1 to 11, serves as a powerful example of resisting spiritual deceit. Despite fasting and being in a vulnerable state, Jesus has rebuffed Satan's attempts to sway him by citing scripture in response to each temptation. This narrative reinforces the power of the word as both shield and sword against spiritual deception. These scriptural warnings are not merely historical or theoretical. They are practical advisories that remain relevant today. They urge believers to fortify their spiritual lives with scripture, ensuring that their journey towards deeper prayer is protected by the timeless wisdom of the Bible. Prayer as spiritual warfare, aligning with divine strategies. C.S. Lewis vividly portrays prayer not just as a means of personal communion or reflection, but as an active engagement in spiritual warfare. This concept is central to understanding prayer's role in the broader cosmic struggle between divine and demonic forces. In Mere Christianity, Lewis describes the world as enemy-occupied territory and Christianity as the story of how the rightful king has landed you might say landed in disguise, and is calling us all to take part in a great campaign of sabotage. This metaphor underscores the idea that prayer is a strategic act. It's not merely about seeking personal enlightenment or comfort, but about actively participating in a divine plan. Each prayer uttered is akin to a move in a grand chess game against spiritual adversaries. When we pray, we are not just speaking into the void, we are communicating on a battlefield, and our prayers have implications far beyond our immediate perception. Furthermore, this view of prayer challenges the notion that it is a passive or safe activity. Instead, it's an assertion of allegiance with God's kingdom in direct opposition to hostile forces. This battleground perspective implies that our prayers can trigger reactions from these forces aiming to counteract the divine intentions expressed in our supplications. Lewis's insights are complemented by biblical imagery, such as the Apostle Paul's description of the armor of God in Ephesians 6, where prayer is a vital component of the spiritual armor that protects and empowers believers in their struggle against the powers of this dark world. By framing prayer within the context of spiritual warfare, Lewis not only highlights its significance, but also calls for a heightened awareness and strategic use of this divine tool. In this light, prayer becomes a profound duty to engage with discernment and courage, 
fully aware of the spiritual dynamics at play. The Importance of Scripture Safeguarding the Spiritual Journey C.S. Lewis emphasized the indispensable role of Scripture in the life of a believer, particularly as a safeguard in the realm of prayer and spiritual warfare. He posited that without the grounding of Scripture, even the most earnest prayers could lead astray, as they open the individual to spiritual influences which are not always divine. Scripture acts as both a filter and foundation, helping believers to discern the authenticity of their spiritual experiences. In the complex terrain of spiritual sensitivity, where discernment is paramount, the Bible provides clarity and direction. Lewis's views echo the biblical exhortation found in Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. This metaphor beautifully illustrates how Scripture illuminates the way, preventing believers from stumbling in the darkness of deception. Moreover, engaging with Scripture enriches prayer life by aligning one's thoughts with God's will. It ensures that prayers are not just heartfelt utterances, but are anchored in the truth and promises of God. By intertwining prayer with the study of Scripture, Believers fortify their spiritual defenses, ensuring their practices are not only fervent but also firmly rooted in the eternal wisdom of God's Word. Dangers of Spiritual Isolation The Pitfalls of Prayer Without Scripture C.S. Lewis warned against the dangers of spiritual isolation, a state where believers engage deeply in prayer without the anchoring influence of Scripture. This form of isolation can lead to a form of spiritual self-seclusion, where individuals, relying solely on their subjective spiritual experiences, become vulnerable to misinterpretations and deceit. Spiritual isolation occurs when prayer is divorced from the communal and scriptural contexts that help shape sound doctrine. Without the corrective and reinforcing nature of biblical teaching, Individuals may begin to trust solely in their personal revelations, which can be misleading. The Bible itself offers cautionary tales about the necessity of community and doctrinal accountability, such as in Proverbs 11 verse 14, which states, Where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors there is safety. Moreover, this isolation can lead to what Lewis described as spiritual pride where individuals begin to view their personal spiritual experiences as superior or more enlightened than the teachings found in Scripture or espoused by the broader Christian community. Such pride can blind believers to the true nature of their experiences, leading them down paths that diverge from orthodox Christian teachings and into potentially dangerous theological territories. Hence, integrating prayer with regular Scripture study and communal worship is crucial. It not only guards against the pitfalls of spiritual isolation, but also enriches the believer's faith journey, keeping it aligned with the broader, time-tested truths of Christianity. Deepening Your Spiritual Practices As we reflect on the insights shared and the warnings issued by C.S. Lewis, let us commit to a more integrated approach to our spiritual lives. To truly benefit from the transformative power of prayer, it must be coupled with diligent study and application of Scripture. This integration ensures that our spiritual experiences are not only deep, but also anchored in truth. First, I urge you to cultivate a daily habit of Scripture reading. Let the Word of God be your first consult in the morning and your last reflection at night. This practice will serve as your spiritual compass, keeping you aligned with God's will and protected from the deceptions that prey on isolated spirits. Second, join a Bible study group or a community prayer circle. Spiritual growth thrives in community where insights can be shared and guidance offered. The collective wisdom of a community helps to clarify doubts and reinforces the strength to resist misleading paths. Third, engage with teachings from trusted spiritual leaders who emphasize the balanced approach of prayer and scripture. 
Their sermons and writings can provide additional layers of understanding and help contextualize your personal experiences within the broader Christian doctrine. Let's not be content with surface-level spiritual encounters. Dive deeper into the rich soil of God's Word and let it truly dwell within you, enriching every prayer and guiding every step of your faith journey. By doing so, you will not only safeguard your spiritual path, but also move closer to the life God intends for you. Remember, in the pursuit of spiritual depth, Scripture is not just an accessory, it is a necessity. And finally, if you found this discussion enlightening, please like, share, and subscribe for more content that aims to deepen your faith and understanding. Let us journey together in faith and wisdom, and may your spiritual path be ever guided by the light of God's Word.